Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very fun, colorful look for you guys that is a pop of color with a beautiful teal wit. I wore this look to the Teen Choice Awards. A lot of you guys requested it and I thought I would do a tutorial for you guys. If you guys didn't see on my social media, I did not wear this wig just for the sake of the video. I thought I would pair it with a beautiful wig that was laying around my friend's house, Laura Lee. I snatched it from her room. Yes. Is this a wig? stole it and threw it on my head and I thought it would do a fun colorful look for you guys and here we are this look is so easy it's so fun and it's a great way to add a pop of color into your life so before we get into the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that I have partnered with Style Code Live, which is on Amazon.com. I'm so excited, you guys. So the link will be down below. Click it, watch it. Style Code Live is a live show that talks about all things fashion and beauty. And of course, I am the featured guest tonight talking about makeup and I will be on it. So the show will be on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys are in New York or in Orlando, where I'm from, it'll be on at 9 p.m. If you guys are on the West Coast, It'll be on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The show is super fun. You guys can shop during the show and you guys can chat during the show. So I'll be in the chat room tonight and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is super fun. Thank you, Amazon. But if you guys want to see how I did this beautiful teal look that I wore to the Teen Choice Awards, then keep on watching. All right, I'm going to start off with some morning eyes, a cleanly shaven beard, and this primer by Kat Von D. Kat Von D has full coverage products, so I thought this face primer would do me well because I love full coverage, and it would make my skin super tacky and primed and prepped for the foundation. So this primer is amazing. Now, for those of you that love a full coverage base, this foundation is amazing. It's the newest foundation by Hourglass Cosmetics. This is the foundation stick. This is the Vanish foundation stick. Look at my beard disappear and my pigment. This is super pigmented. There are like 26 shades and there's a shade literally for everyone. The shade that I am in is golden, Goldilocks golden. And I'm just going to buff this out with a Morphe brush. This is super awesome because a stiff, dense, short brush wouldn't tug on my skin. As you can see, my skin isn't being tugged. That's why I, I opt for a fluffy powder looking brush. Next, I'm going to take this concealer by Kat Von D. This is super full coverage and it's lightweight, believe it or not. It feels like not like a cream. A cream is more heavy, but this is awesome. And I'm going to blend the Locket Concealer with the G2 brush by Morphe. I'm going to set my full coverage face using the Laura Mercier powder and a powder puff and just set everything. And moving on to eyes, I'm going to take Courtney. Courtney, and I'm going to take that and use that as a transition color in my crease. This color is awesome. It reminds me of like soft brown from MAC, but this by the way is from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette, and I'm going to take China White and buff this onto my brow bone. I've been liking this color for my brow bone lately, and it's like a bone like white it's really really pretty next i'm going to take vanity and i'm going to define the crease just a little bit um this beauty killer palette is super bright and colorful but i wanted to show you guys a more neutral take on this palette for those of you guys that maybe have it or are interested you guys can see there are wearable colors for a day-to-day -day look this is princess which is a beautiful like light pastel lavender color it is really super pretty and i'm going to take that and just pat this on the lid and this is called princess and i love this look next i'm going to show you guys how i slay this eyeliner like without any skips so i like to take an angle brush and inglot gel liner and run this across. If your liner is dry, I wanted to mention this, there is a product by Inglot called Duraline, which you can put a few drops into any gel liner. Inglot sells this. Inglot is sold at like Macy's or Beautylish, and there's a product called Duraline, which is like eye drops for liner, and you can just revive and freshen up your liner, and that is called Duraline. And as you guys can see, it takes me patience 
to slay my eyeliner and you just got to keep going hope for the best and yeah that line is really really long but you know i wanted to stand out and i wanted to be cute and see i need to just connect it again just got to keep going and i hope you guys just take your time don't be discouraged liner was like the hardest thing for me to learn but i made it a point to practice like every day all day and yeah just practice and you know, I, as you guys can see, I'm keeping my eyes open. I'm never shutting my eye all the way so you can kind of see and balance how your liner looks with your eyes open. And this is how I did mine. I'm going to curl my lashes up to Jesus with my Shiseido Lash Curler and use my Roller Lash Mascara, which allows my lashes to curl up. They give an extra ump and curl. This Roller Lash, that's what it's meant for, to roll your lashes up and out. I'm going to take a pair of Lily Lashes and I'm going to dust the powder off my face. And now I'm going to talk about this Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. You guys are probably wondering why do you use a setting powder and then a foundation powder. This foundation powder is awesome. This allows me to add color in case you guys think that the translucent powder would add a uh, white cast on my face so I go over it with a foundation powder it's a lot of powder but I use setting sprays to kind of make my skin look more fresh at the end but this out the translucent powder adds durability and the foundation powder adds color and additional coverage because I used a lot of creams and liquids first on my face. Next, I'm going to take another foundation powder and use that to highlight. Also by Makeup Forever. And now to bronze the face, I'm going to use Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, one of my favorite bronzers ever. And it's the perfect shade. And I'm just going to carve out my double chin. You know, this is a part of the weight loss program. It just gives you a snatched look. Speaking of snatch, we're going to snatch the nose. My Filipino nose. Yes, I'm Filipino. Como esta? I'm going to snatch my nose with a fan brush. And then I'm going to take this Tarte Gel Liner. It's like a beautiful sky blue. I didn't have any pencils, but I wanted a pop of color to match my wig and I'm just gonna run this on the waterline as a base and I'm taking that on a small smudger brush and next I'm going to take this teal color from the Beauty Killer palette and run this on top of that base and the base really allowed this shadow to pop next I'm gonna take peaches by Mac if I did a pink blush I would look like a clown peach is an amazing color for or apricot is an amazing color for any skin tone just to brighten you up and it adds like a natural flesh Next for the brows, I'm going to take the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color number four. And I'm going to snatch my brows and add an arch. And I'm going to add a little bit of a glow using Gold Deposit by MAC to snatch my skin. And for the last look, I'm going to show you guys my Khloe Kardashian smile and this Ashton Liquid Lipstick. Oh, paired with the lip liner by Rimmel called Cafe Olay. This is my favorite, favorite combo ever. And this should complete the finished look just add your kylie wig throw in your chloe kardashian smile and catch them boys catch them pokemon and slay your day all right you guys this is the finished look i hope you guys loved it it was so much fun doing this tutorial for you guys if you guys forgot don't forget to click the below to watch style code live live tonight if you guys want to see more fun colorful looks comment down below don't forget to subscribe i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye